Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative. Me to Chloe Van Lanshoot about season two of From on MGM Plus. Welcome back to the show. It's so good to see you again. So good to see you too, PD. So much is going on for you as well. I love it. I know. Thank you. I appreciate that. There is so much kind of happening. Yes. I mean, here's the thing. We talked about this in our first interview, what we did about season one. I mean, how do you kind of like, like what in terms of what happens in the last episode of season one, uh, yeah. it's kind of one of those, like that's one of my favorite kind of endings of a season one of a show like yeah. I've ever seen. You know what yeah. I mean? And we're just, we're picking back where we left off, but what's that like? reading those scripts with kind of the bus and everything at like finally getting those scripts for season two. Like I want to know about that. Cause we didn't talk about that last time. No, cause we didn't have the scripts yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think we had been officially picked up for a second season yet when we spoke. So yeah, lots has happened since our last time together. Yeah. Honestly, it was pretty wild to read. There's so much anticipation. Yeah. Uh, we were also starting to shoot like a week and a half before, but we, we started shooting uh, a week and a half before we got those scripts. So there wasn't a lot of, there wasn't a lot of time to have a lot of anything. So it's just kind of, I think a lot of us just were rolling with our, with our instincts because you didn't have too much time to get in your head about it, which I prefer personally. Um, I love just rolling with what comes up first. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a, a pretty zany time. And there's just so much packed into those first two episodes. It's like questions, answers, everything in between. Like, it's just the, the it's such a dynamic couple episodes. It's a very dynamic season, actually. So it really just hits the ground running, which I think uh, the audiences will really appreciate. We, yeah. got, we got some storylines and certain things that we got to talk about in, in, in regards to Chrissy, obviously, you know. But yeah. before we do that, I mean, season two is scarier than season one. And I feel like that's something hard to do because season really? one was so scary. Yeah, it was a freaky time. I You've seen more than I have. So that's really exciting. Um, but it's just it's so scary. Yeah. Like, it actually is. Yeah. It's funny because you know how you watch shows and it's like, thriller horror sci-fi right yeah it's like this <laughs> this one is like the horror movie equivalent of a tv show like that's how i look at it you know what i mean and i think it comes down to like all these characters have so they are human beings they're not just characters on a show so i think the audience like really attaches themselves to it so the stakes are so much higher for the audiences too because you deeply care about these people as well um so it just heightens everything which i think is the sign of a really good television show too but yeah it's definitely a freaky deaky man i can't wait to see it it's interesting no too it's interesting <laughs> too. you make me feel bad because i'm seeing... <laughs> but like um you see how i just brushed over that when you're like you've yeah. seen more than me i'm just like yeah my question is... <laughs> but um <laughs> it's funny i i was i don't know if i might or might not have seen your short so i i want to see it so I can right. play that. I can play that game too. Right. We can go back and forth on this. Can we? But, uh, we're gonna, so I find it interesting because some storylines that I really love this season, you know, involve your character. Obviously, there is you know this reuniting love story yeah. that. Yeah. If you know, you know at this point, by the time the episodes, the, this interview's out, the episode's going to be out, if you know, you know, it's just kind of like one of those, like, I really didn't, like, see it coming. Like, you know about it, she talks about it a lot in season one, and then it, she, the eye contact, Kaylin, and it's just like, oh my goodness. Yeah. So what was that like, kind of reading that and then filming that sequence? Oh man, I thought about that moment forever. Forever. It, and I... It was one of the main things that happens in that episode for my character, too. So I didn't actually have a lot of other things to focus on <laughs> other than that moment. So sometimes that's a gift and sometimes that's a curse. But I think it just, yeah, it really marinated deeply. And I met Kaylin, I think, like a week before we, we shot that. So we really, her and I, we just like really hit the ground running in terms of just kind of developing a connection and getting to know each other. And then 
um, yeah, she's not a she's not a very challenging person to care for at all. So it didn't take much um, for it all to kind of sit and become real for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when we shot it, I kind of blacked out. <laughs> Honestly, like yeah. I think those moments you can't really plan for. Um, it's going to be emotional she, no matter what. Of course, and you can't decide what it is. I mean. Christy never actually thought that this moment would ever come. Like we, we ended season one with her kind of starting to sit and consider that I, we may never see, she may never see her again. Yeah. Um, and there was just that hint of like, it's of letting go, just a hint of it and, and, and moving on, but not totally. Christy didn't totally give it away. We see her still questioning it and 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 having a challenge with with that decision but leaning into something else for the first time and being quite vulnerable with it and then season two episode one opens with essentially reuniting and and christy being kind of met with with everything that she's just started to lightly let go of so it just kind of hits her full force and her brain is quite broken (laughs) It, it, it's wow. it's true because there is that kind of closure and i also have to say like the acting in this show is one of my favorite things ever i mean you do such an amazing job uh, ricky is crushing it this like i just yeah. it's so much emotion and it's so funny because my next question is sarah this character has just like caused so much stuff for all these characters that like deeply care about each other you know in this yeah. show mm-hmm. and everyone is just like losing it basically when they find yeah. out this character comes back because that is one of the biggest things you know what i mean yeah that's a big plot point in this it's season. a big one and everyone and they they kind of like they take turns the reactions take turns basically you know what i mean yeah and it's like it's interesting too, where it's a show that has a lot of scares and it's a show that has a lot of characters, but everyone really has their time to shine in from, like in terms of character development. Like I feel like we really like dive into all these characters and mm-hmm. there's a lot of characters and that's very yeah. difficult to do. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, there's a lot of storylines, but I think season one, we re- really established the world that we were living in and mm-hmm and kind of the day-to-day and like what's required to survive in that town to really ground the audience in that and then season two is where we really start to get to know everybody and we really start to see what happens when they've been pushed to their limit Uh, and when they're being pulled in so many different directions like certainly for christy this season it's she's constantly being pulled uh in multiple directions and we watched that really bubble up and uh, that was exciting to play but the reality is like she's responsible for so many people in this town, their well being. There yeah. There's a lot of lives at stake constantly. And she takes all of that on. So so having to navigate that plus the introduction of her love, it's a lot. And you start to break and you start to see Christy not have the answer for anything anymore. You mm-hmm. start to see her crumble in ways that we just we, we didn't in season one. Because as it makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. I I honestly and I I get to say this without being biased because if you said this, you're on the show. But I think this is one of the best TV shows out on TV right now. I Whoa. truly I truly think that. <laughs> and I yeah, I, I was at the junket yesterday. I, I told Harold that and he was like, "Whoa, wow, yeah." yeah. I know. But I I <laughs> <laughs> um yeah. <laughs> we got to talk about a short film, don't we? You got. You I mean, if you want to, you don't have to do it. We're gonna talk about it because it's amazing. Congratulations! That's so exciting. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's been a bit of a ride with that too. I so. mean, title. So, like, I mean, tell us a little bit about it, but also like give us a little bit of kind of the scope in terms of how people are gradually going to kind of be able to see it. Cause it's doing some film festivals and everything. Cause I feel like that's the big one, right? Like with your yeah. short film, like tell us what you can because. Things change all the time, right? Like it might be in a couple of weeks. It might be like, oh yeah, more people can see it here. But like, what can you tell us now in terms of what it's about? Uh, what, yeah. So I shot it season one when we had some downtime, um, and we shot it all on instinct, no script, no nothing. We had two day. We had two days with a really good camera, and we're like, let's just make something. So we did. Turned mm-hmm. into title. 
which is uh, a movement piece that kind of externalizes the internal life of a nurse as she tries to find her way home. Mm -hmm. It's kind of her, about her whole internal world coming to the surface and uh, she just becomes really disjointed and overwhelmed, which is a reflection of how I felt uh, while I was nursing. Um, I've been a nurse since 2016 and it was very, very, very peaky uh, during the pandemic, obviously. Mm -hmm. And we talked um, about that a lot last, like last time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So to be able to create something and help process all of that was, yeah, super special. Uh, and yeah, and I found a post team and they're incredible. And, and then, yeah, we started submitting it to festivals and it's kind of been finding its way around the world, which has been super special. The yeah. short, the short film where we're part of the short film uh community yeah. so to speak <laughs> we are you and i are pd yes we are i just love i think this stems from i think we just like like from the creative perspective i think we just like to make things yeah like i think that's it's simple as that you know what i mean <laughs> like yeah especially it's like yeah without any, putting any expectation on it too like i didn't put any expectation on title i was just like i just have this story inside of me that i want to tell and I don't know how I'm going to tell it quite yet, but it's just finding people on, to surround yourself with too, who kind of have that attitude as well and who want to make fun stuff because it's supposed to be fun and joyous and sometimes hard, but it's art. It's fun. It, it it's, is fun. And yeah. I feel like it's, it's so funny too, because the first, <laughs> I, I re did like, I rewatched our first interview. I always do that a little bit to kind of refresh yeah. and everything. And I'm like really into it. Cause I'm like, it's my favorite show. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's so and then it's so funny because you can see, you're just like, I love the enthusiasm. I like, like everyone's trying to keep up, but it's like what you just said. It's fun. It's art. If we're not excited for it, what's the whole point of all this? Yeah. I don't know. Like the world needs more people who feel alive. So let's just <laughs> feel alive. Let's make stuff. I don't know. It's I don't know how else to be. And does it kind of does it kind of just happen that you're just going to kind of wear many hats in the entertainment industry or do you kind of feel like you have this kind of like idea that you want to kind of like act but you also want to write and you also want to direct or produce cuz I feel like a lot of it kind of just happens. I feel like you just kind of get like thrown in and you do a lot of different things. Yeah, I think that's just how it goes. I mean, especially in like the creative world, I think there's like a very non-linear path to it. And I think the more I'm someone who's always been, I learn by doing, mm -hmm. I learn by failing. I learn by, instead of just sitting and thinking about it, I'm like, I'm just going to go do it, try it out. I don't know, see what happens. And I mean, I'm sitting in the theater watching Tidal on like a big screen. I was just like, I would change so many things about this now. But then also, yeah, I, but wouldn't. I feel like that's always going to happen. I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm just like, it's a timestamp for like where I was at that time. And that's what's amazing about creating things is it's it leaves a mark. And then I think you don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfect. I think it's really exciting when, when audience and fans can, can, meet you at the beginning of your journey and carry on as long as you're willing to be vulnerable and share then people people will want to keep rooting for you too so that's a that's scary it. little thing you kind of put in my brain now like at some point you're in post and at some point you're not in post anymore and it's ready to yeah. go <laughs> i know you're like living here in this world with your editor and you're just like yeah yeah like micro moments managing and then at the end of the day it's in the universe and it's none of your business anymore. And it's the same thing with a show like From. Like, you go and film this, and like you said, it's such a dynamic, complex show, and it's such an emotional yeah. roller coaster. And I feel like the idea of you wrapping season two and it kind of being out there for people to see on MGM Plus, I mean, it, that can't, like, it's, that's going to be an emotional feeling for everyone involved. Oh, yeah. I can already feel it all starting. I'm just like, huh? I remember this feeling. <laughs> Yeah, it's super, especially like, I think this season two, there was just a lot more responsibility um, on me as an actor to bring all that emotional levity that Christy has to navigate to life. Mm. Um, so yeah, a lot of, they're all my feelings. Christy's experiences, but my feelings. So yeah, it's always super vulnerable when you're really putting yourself all out there and people are gonna have opinions. Chloe, it was so great catching up with you. Thank you so much for your time. 
Yeah, you too, PD. We'll see you later. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, episodes are rolling out on uh, MGM Plus from season two. Uh, you're short. Anywhere they could keep up date with everything specifically? Yeah, yeah, totally. If you're in Canada, you can stream it on Highball TV. And internationally, it's on Real Woman's Network. So yeah, check it oh, out. Oh, that's can. awesome. And, and, you're, you're yeah. in, and your Instagram account is just your name, right? Yeah, Clo VLS, C-H-L-O-V-L-S. And yeah, if you are in L.A., title screening at the Chinese Theater as a part of Beverly Hills Film Festival on April 21st. So. That's amazing. That's yeah. awesome. I was just there. That's awesome. I was amazing. in the Chinese Theater. That's amazing. Well, this has been Pop Turn It at YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, it's Chloe Van Landshut and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turn It If. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.